critical time management. Yes, I was indecisive in some areas, but ultimately that's not what this task was lost on. The task was lost on the execution of the advertising medium. Our strategy was, was bang on. Like I said earlier, it is Marmite. You, you like it or you dislike it. Um, it's not like that at all, Satanta. The strategy was good in the context of your media spend and the spreading of it. The concept of a piece of cake, the look of the piece of cake isn't businesslike. And to say it's simple isn't really so. That's not simple. Do you get it? Good with you. Yeah, I made a bad decision. I could have gone with the Rubik's Cube, but we went with the piece of cake. You're all over the place, Atlanta. Who are you going to bang back into the boardroom? Um, Geraldine and Ruth. Geraldine and Ruth. Okay, this can go off now, and you three will be back into this boardroom where one of you will be fired. Off you go. What do you think of that, Jackie? Torn up for the books. Didn't well, bring back Brendan? No. Very much boys sticking together, I'm afraid, there. Didn't um, expect that, I must say. No, I didn't either, Brian. Mm. Caught me completely by surprise. But it's obvious he's going now and he's going to blame everything on the creative team. I didn't see this one coming. I'll take me time and make me mind up on this one. Yes, Jane, would you ask the tree to come in again, please? Yes. You can go into the boardroom now. Satanta, you gave Brendan down the banks a little while ago. And you didn't bring him back to the boardroom. What's that all about? I'm not a marketeer. I don't know marketing. Uh, it's not my gig. I totally delegated that role to Ruth. I feel she left us down. I'm the typo at the end of the day. If it's your responsibility, it's your accountability. You don't pass on responsibility. You delegate because at the end of the day, the book stops with you. That's right. But when we're in our presentation, that's not right. You didn't say you're out to tell me something completely different. Okay. Well, when we're in our. I mean, our... okay. Sorry. You know, let's get it right here. You can't say oh, I gave that to Ruth and she made. Well, I have to take responsibility for it. Thank well. you. But I'm not the person that's sitting down and putting those details in that ad. That's. Criticism has to be directed at the person that was responsible for it, the, the expert in that field, and that's Ruth, and that's why she's here. And the reason I brought Charlene back is there was some animosity there. Aoife said at half two that I had put too much responsibility on her and she wasn't comfortable doing the presentation on her own. So I was throwing a bit of a curveball there, but we kept our head, the strategy part of the presentation. Sorry. So, Tanta, you're all over the place here. You didn't make any adverse remarks about Geraldine earlier on, and yet you have her in the boardroom and you don't have Brendan. That was my point, and you haven't given me any explanation at all. She's here because I don't think she contributed as much to the group as everyone else. Now, be five minutes or ten minutes before Aoife was going to do her presentation, and she had already said earlier in the day that she was nervous, um, Geraldine turned around to her and said, that's crap. That's crap. That's you know, I don't lie. like the tone of that. That's rubbish. I that's don't like the content. Lie. And it upset Aoife, and, and Aoife came to me, and I actually turned around to Geraldine and he I did said... It. Aoife didn't say anything about any of that. Well, fair enough. Okay. Can I add on that, please? If, you, if you'd like to hear my side of that, because the tante is lying. Leave that's it there. Okay. Leave it there. What did you have to say, Ruth? When I came into the, the team room, the first thing you said to me was, God, thank God you're here, Ruth. I've just been such a stressful morning. And I, I do wonder why I'm here and why Eve isn't here, because she was the person who was responsible for presenting. And if it was me working with the Santa, I would have taken the initiative to at least understand what he was trying to say and get into my own words and present it. But there was no problem with the presentation. The problem was with the visual, the visual that, that was, was produced, problem. that you were in charge of. And you signed that off. Mm -hmm. Ruth, why shouldn't I fire you? I think the first reason you shouldn't fire me is because I was a very strong team player in this task and in certainly in the two previous tasks. The second reason I'd tell you not to fire me is because when I got back into the team room where the presentation was due, it was absolute mess, Bill. The content was there, I give that. But the layout, the structure, the clarity, the simplicity, which was all of what we were trying to deliver in our campaign, was not in this presentation. And I sat down and very intently and put a lot of pressure on me, managed to pull together a damn good presentation for the team to present. I'd actually disagree with that, Phil. 
if I sit down with Aoife, Aoife was doing the presentation in the morning and we worked through the content. We laid out the presentation the way we wanted it. Now, when Ruth came back, I said, Ruth, will you go over and have a look at that? Two of you together, please work through it. Now, the reason Aoife panicked is because Ruth sat down and she completely chopped and changed it. Ruth was basically rewriting the presentation. She and was you were there at the time? I was, yes. But if you didn't agree with it, why didn't you stop her? Time. It, it was half two when I went back to her, and I, I didn't have enough time to change everything. But if you'd back. already done the presentation, what was the necessity for Ruth to take over? She says it was a mess. Her brief wasn't to go and rewrite the entire presentation. Her brief was to sit down with Aoife and tweak it a little so that Aoife was comfortable presenting it. Geraldine, why shouldn't I fire you? I contributed greatly during the brainstorming session. I took the photograph, I sat down with the graphic designer, and I did, to the best of my ability, the work that I could do. But I'm very proud of what I did. I worked hard for my team. And truth be told, I think I'm only in here because I'm not in um, Satanta's clique. I don't think it's anything based on the task what happened between yesterday and the day before. Satanta, you were in charge of the project. You were all over the place. You abused people. You didn't get it right. And the end result is the one that's failed. Having said that, Ruth, you're the girl with the experience. You want to start using it, and you want to start commanding a situation if that's what needs to be done. Because I think you were in a comfort zone on this one, and you just stood back a little bit. Let things happen that shouldn't have happened. Geraldine, you've got moxie, but you're not pushing yourself enough. I know, but... You've got to make sure that you get your views across strongly. You can't have a project manager who comes from Biddy to Jack all the time and say, hey, this is good. It's not, and you have to get in there and make something about it. I'm looking for people who can get things done. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah. And I hope you understand that. I do, Bill. You do? I have to make up my mind. And I have to say, sitting here right now, it's quite simple. I don't think you have the people skills to lead any team. So, Satanta, you are fired. You get all that? I don't want to see you in here again. So off you go. Thank you. And consider yourself lucky, both of you. Thanks, Bill. Top of the top, boy. Yeah. I really think that Geraldine should have gone. I, I can't really see where her strengths lie at all. Of course, looking back retrospectively, I'm going to have regrets, maybe. You know, the Rubik's Cubes would have been a better idea, but, you know, maybe I'm just putting that up on a pedestal as well. But ultimately, you know, I made mistakes, and uh, I'm paying for them now. I think <laughs> Ruth is definitely coming back myself. I think she's a very strong candidate. Yes, yeah, I think Stanz is coming back. He's got a lot more to give in this competition, more so than others. <laughs> Overall, though, do you think he was he was a strong leader? To be honest, guys, I haven't been on a winning team yet, so I, I could... <laughs> for our opinion on a project manager he probably does um, he did ask why he hadn't brought in Brendan considering he'd actually you know sort of said previously about your work well done girls well done. Yeah, it was, it was it then that you know with three boys gone in the first three weeks the search for Bill's apprentice continues next week on The Apprentice last week I tested your strategic skills this morning we're changing gear completely I wouldn't even suggest it unless it's something that I can say is doable. You know what's structurally wrong with it? He's more driven to win now. <laughs> She's evil, actually. You had the opportunity and you walked away from it. You're fired.